Imagine this umbrella is really big. We stand together underneath it to weather what sometimes seems like a daily deluge, doo-doo storm, <laughs> awfulness, assaults on our values and communities we thought were foundational and that we hold dear. Attacks on immigrants, women, our queer and trans friends, our Muslim brothers and sisters. A prevailing and blithe disregard for peace, equal opportunity, and safety. The propagation of falsehoods and the relentless undermining of our fair and righteous press. We'll come back to that. <laughs> We write, we march. We're Joyce and Ed, they march everywhere with the AWU, the women of the AWU, many of whom are here, our big sisters in this world. If you're part of the AWU, stand. These are our big sisters, they came before us. We march, we join together to stand up for what we believe in, like for DACA dreamers against the pipeline, for women's reproductive rights, for immigrants, against police violence for Black Lives Matter, against racism, and for equity and justice for all. Thankfully, we got a boost last night. Yeah. And a strong repudiation of our current president and the values he represents. Progressive candidates won all over this country. Andrea Jenkins. the first trans woman of color elected in the United States is heading to the Minneapolis I'm too hot. Virginia is sending two Latinas to its House of Delegates. Along with the trans candidate Danica R Rome, who in a poetic justice freaking TKO, beat the Republican who tried to introduce a transphobic bathroom bill. <laughs> Virginia also elected a Democratic governor with a huge margin of victory and elected its second, second ever black lieutenant governor. New Jersey has had, quoting Rebecca Solnit here, the weighty yoke of Chris Christie lifted from its neck. Love that. And Charlotte, North Carolina elected its first black mayor by Lyles. Hoboken elected our first Sikh mayor. Maine voted to expand Medicaid under the Affordable Care Act. The first state to do so by ballot initiative. And I got to share this one. In Montana, Will McCollins, a black refugee from Liberia, who ran as a progressive in this deeply red state, was elected mayor of its capital, Helena, becoming the first black mayor in Montana's history. Election Day yesterday, 2017, demonstrates that the energy of the resistance can turn into votes. It demonstrates that the power of organized people and organized money can bring about change. The Asian Women Giving Circle is just one small part of this larger, marvelously heterogeneous whole. We gather and pull money to fund equitable social change. We acknowledge and celebrate the fact that we are better and stronger and more strategic when we work in common. We know that having fun with you guys is a critical part of being well and doing good. This is our community. You are our community. This is the Asian Women Giving Circles community. We need each other more than ever. And thankfully, we have each other more than ever. Thank you so much for coming out tonight in support of the Asian Women Giving Circles.